Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! <clears throat> I got it, I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Hello? Jerk! The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Hubert's still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. Nothing useful in here. How ironic! One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Hello. Yes? Yes? Holy mace-wielding Minotaur Kings! Who are you talking to? Nobody. Just practicing for next time. Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And give Max a smack from me. Hi, Sam. This is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. Look, Max. The Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste! Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. A very disturbed individual sits here. Whee! Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Ah yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers? Jimmy Two-Teeth, Fence. Beat it! 
Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. Hey, Jimmy, we're looking to sell. Oh, no, I don't want nothing that belongs to you. You'll decide you want it back and then you'll throw me off a bridge or something. He's got a point. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Our thugs and hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? Ants are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at them through a microscope. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP-TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Does it seem quiet in here to you? Oh, they're fumigating the building today. I forgot to tell you. Well, that explains it. We should hustle over to the casino and find that mole. Fine with me. I've been looking for something to do since I found out Sudoku doesn't involve ritual suicide. What time is it? I'm happy to say I have no idea. And I'd rather keep it that way. I guess we should get back to work. Okay, although I prefer the term mayhem for pay. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Look, Max. Liver and onions are still in town. Let's go see them again and again! Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Hey, it's the Indie Angst Film Festival. What do they do? Show that second movie over and over again? Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barber shop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me. Whee! Ah, the tiki. Holdover from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. 
been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Nice sign. Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three in Asparagus Rampage. Mad Chef Killer Cools Heels in Stir. Giant Plush Toy Suspected in Conspiracy. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. It's getting late. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Nothing useful in here. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah! Why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Any idea what your first case is going to be about? No, but it doesn't really matter. It's a flat fee system. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. What do you think of Sybil's new job? I think it makes a mockery of our entire justice system. Cool! What are we doing here again? We're trying to find the mole by infiltrating this casino. This isn't a casino. It's not? What should I ask Sybil? Oh, I know. Ask her if she's ever killed a man. Why would I ask her that? Because asking if she's ever killed a woman sounds sexist? I think I've had enough of you for the moment. Okay, but be sure to stock up for later. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. 
the Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it! Hmm, are those... Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. It takes me back to my childhood. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of Cordon Bleu! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Bosco! No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissipants, the cowardly French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia! The Toy Mafia! They've got it in for me! Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star! Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my star. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Shh. They don't know that. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tad. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tads. It is b -tads Part D! How does B-Tad's part do work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! Vive la France! How does B-Tad's part do work again? If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to! He's threatened by their potential unification! Mm-hmm. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools! There is no one! <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day. And I intend to! We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur! Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? Nope! Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? Nope! Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? Nope! Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? Nope! Do you have any... Nope! How do you know what he was gonna... Nope! Do you... Nope! Do... Nope! Do you... Nope! Do you... Nope! What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation, a device non parallel on chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Senor Sissy Pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 
million dollars. Ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Give us that miniature listening device. Ten million, s'il vous plaît. We'll be back if and when we have an unexpected windfall. Nothing for us right now. Zit! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir! I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Bosco isn't really fooling anyone, is he? Nope! I knew he was French all along! Huh. You don't have ten million bucks on you, do you, little buddy? Not today, but we could always hustle somebody for it if you want to. Bosco sure keeps a sharp eye on his store, doesn't he? You said it! This store and ludicrously convoluted conspiracy theories are the only things he really cares about! This new anti-delivery system of Bosco's is interesting. I feel the distinct urge to break it, but then I feel that about a lot of things. How much more inconvenient can this place get? It's not that inconvenient. Besides, I think anyone who wants to buy a blue sludgy should have to provide a urine test. I mean, what have they got to hide? It's always the cute and cuddly ones that go fascist the fastest. Shall we shop? Let's do! Hey! Ah! Stop it! Watch out! Put that away! What are you doing? He's a crazy man! He'll kill us all! You'll be the death of us all! Don't make me come over there! He's got a gun, and he doesn't know how to use it! Why'd I ever get rid of B-Tags? Big smokes. Don't smoke, kids. Unless you're on fire. Then it's only natural. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Hot Bunny? Ooh, let me see that. Hot Bunny? No, self-loving weekly. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! No thanks, I brought my lunch today. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? The anti-delivery camera. What are you doing? Why must people bulletproof their cameras? Can't we all get along? Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. This week's flavors, avocado de menthe and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh good, for a second I thought it was something disgusting. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Not chose. They're mine, not chose. Buy not chose. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. Use toilet brush. I'll pass. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Ooh, fun. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not.
Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then! I hear you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was Mafia Free. That's right, kiddies. 100% Mafia Free. No Mafia anyways. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Teddy Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. We're looking for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear in the back room. He knows everyone. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. A token amount of tokens. I've got an ace up my sleeve. I never travel without my trusty firearm. We'd like to give something back to the community. Don't worry, you will, you will! These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, cause a mistrial, and win a souvenir magnet. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. 
Teddy Bear's Original Meatball Sandwich. Looks tasty! The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. Bleary-eyed gambling addiction. We won! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. You're on fire! Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Ah. Hold it, Mugs! Not Mugs, Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? The password is... Swordfish. Nope. The password is... Rosebud. Nope. The password is... Password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the Wallace? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Let us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. Let us in. Toy Mafia only. If you want in, talk to Chuckles. He's right behind this door. We'll be back. Like I care. What would you say to a little bribe? I ain't seen you win squat, so I'm guessing it's a very little bribe. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, Cappy! Now have fun! How can we not? Oh, we came up empty. That's okay. It's like Mom used to say. Blowing away rats is its own reward. A wise woman. Let's play again. Let's 
school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. A teddy bear magnet. Hello there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get him then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road, or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. Deal. All right.
fold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. <laughs> we don't! Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. Deal. All right. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> You don't have the guts. On the contrary. If anything, we have too many. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mother, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost a colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? Highway hot pants. Do that again, Yen, and we'll ventilate you so thoroughly your pal will be able to use you as a screen door. Could you also put some springs in him? Because I can never remember to close screen doors. Why don't I just slip this back in the holster and we'll pretend that reflex action never happened? What do you say? Great salmon colored swizzle sticks on marzipan. Do that again, Pooch, and we'll put so much lead in you, Squeaky there will be protected from x-rays. Will there be enough left over to go fishing with? Because I need new sinkers. Let me sheathe my 44 caliber faux pas instead, okay? Wow, it sticks. Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cards? We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Huh. Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... you... you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, stick charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined! <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. You don't have the guts. On the contrary. If anything, we have too many. Better luck next time. Sucker! Leave me alone. I feel kind of bad. Maybe we should give him his money back. Heh! <laughs> Good one, Sam! Thanks, little buddy. There's over 10 million tokens here. What would you say to an extremely large bribe? Thanks. I prefer to keep my job. It's got good health benefits. Namely, nobody has me killed for taking bribes.
Have you heard of magnetic therapy? Quackery. How'd you like ten million dollars? Thanks, but my services are already engaged. Did I mention the DA is supposed to be calling me? Calling you what? I appreciate you trying to defend me, Sam, but there's nobody there. There was an ad. Or at least I think I saw one. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of Saint Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precise mint. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Listen, maggot. Don't bug me till you want to bug somebody else. You got me! What can we buy for a handful of game tokens and some pocket lint? More pocket lint? No thanks! I'd rather keep it to myself. I don't spy on Bosco. We've got an understanding. You understand that? Sir, yes sir! Okay, here's what she said. This is a really nice desk. I wonder how old it is. Thank you, sir. Okay, here's what she said. Maybe I could be buried in this desk. I wonder if that's weird. Thank you, sir. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody!
Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Okay, here's what he said. Oh, come on. Why did I have to be Lovey Bear? I wish I could be Sparkly Bear. I love sparkles. Thank you, sir. Okay, here's what he said. Man, I really need to pick my schnoz right now. Thank you, sir. Okay, here's what he said. Oh, Mama, why didn't you watch over me? I made my bed. I brushed my teeth. It's because I play ball in the house, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, sir. He hasn't said anything yet. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may exit. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today? And you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. You interested? Joining the Toy Mob dovetails nicely with our personal goals. We accept. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle! Bad news! The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody. 
and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Remind me what you want us to do at Bosco's Inconvenience. Just make sure those bears get displayed on the table at the front of the store. I don't care how you do it. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy, as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. Tell me again how you want us to kill Sybil. Make it messy. Plenty of blood. We'll be watching. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y! Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. What was it we were supposed to do about that meatball sandwich? Find the sandwich and bring it back here. Quickly, if possible. The thief will probably try to fence it soon. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. When can we talk to the big boss? Just as soon as you've completed those three little jobs I gave you. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Well, let's not chance it. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Okay, here's what he said. Everything is going according to plan. Thank you, sir. What is this thing? Mine. Stay away from it. Where do you think you're going? Back there? No one may approach Don Teddy Bear except for other members of the Toy Mafia. It's amazing how menacing these guys can look in spite of the teddy bear heads. Maybe one of them is the mole. No, Chuckle said it's got to go on the sale table near the front of Bosco's store. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoever told me firearms could solve every problem was lying. I was not! Well, at least we can see the Big Cheese from here, even if we can't talk to him and tell we're members of the Toy Mafia. This cheese? Where? Never mind. What do we have to do to join the Toy Mafia again? Ah, uh, I don't remember. That's Chuckles over there. What would you do with an inedible meatball sandwich? I'd eat it! No, but it's valuable and inedible. I'd try to eat it? Let's say that it was something valuable you wouldn't want to eat like an antique vegetable. Hmm, I guess I'd either try to sell it or I'd try to hide it until I could sell it. Or maybe I'd do both so I couldn't get caught with it on me when I tried to sell it. I feel better, thanks. I'm a little frustrated I wasn't able to work the word glockenspiel into our conversation, but you're welcome. What's behind that door? None of your business.
Do Not Enter Under Pain of Death, signed Don Ted E. Bear. Do you think the mole's back there, Sam? Maybe, but it sounds too sinister to pass up either way. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you can watch Mary Tyler Moore! Who told you about that? I can see the poker table. Yep. I can see the one-armed bandit. Yep. Is that Sybil's office? Yep. Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The toy mafia told me if I testified against them, They'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant... murder. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs? Graft? Corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. Are you sure we can't talk you into faking your own death? I'm sure. You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch! Really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. It? Did he get her? I don't see any blood. Nope. I guess he must have missed. Actually, I'm supposed to take these over to Bosco's. Could you use a couple of bucks and tokens? Thanks, but my career's about to take off, so I'll be fine. How can we kill Sybil without really killing her? Take her to a Michael Bay movie? I mean, here in the office. And actually appearing to die, not just wishing she was dead. Surprise her with tickets to a Michael Bay movie? She's so high-strung, the shock might make her faint. Hmm. Maybe we should ask Sybil to fake her death to help us. But what if the Toy Mafia is listening in? Or what if it's seen by the DA as aiding the Toy Mafia and she loses her job? You're right. If we're really her friends, we'll keep her ignorant of our true intentions. Deception and lies by omission. That's true friendship. I shot Sybil's mug, but it didn't look too convincing. Yeah, 
It was like those westerns where people get shot, but there's no blood. I think I've had enough of you for the moment. Okay, but be sure to stock up for later. This must be how the Toy Mafia is keeping an eye on Sybil. Functional and delicious looking? Wow! I appreciate you trying to defend me, Sam, but there's nobody there. There was a gnat. Or at least I think I saw one. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to rent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread I'll shoot you both. Now, let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the Toy Mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard. Even though they know you're a cheating jerkbag, I'm sure they'll believe you. Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dog. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder! Hey, I was gonna return it! Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? You know what? We'll come back later. Sorry to intrude. Ciao. Don't you move. Then again... I don't know what to tell you, Leonard. I do, I do! Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sicken, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Stay rough! Stay rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. Yo mama's so fat. She beat out Sam for best in show. Hey, what? That doesn't even make sense. Whoops, let's try that again. Yo mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so thrifty. She has more folds than an origami accordion. That's supposed to make me feel bad? Let's try that again. 
Your mom is so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Your mom is so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, Mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah! Yo Mama's so thrifty. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade! <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? No offense, but you don't exactly blend in too well with the scenery. Really, I must know, what are you doing here? Squelch it, dope. I'm here to make sure you deliver those bears to Bosco. Giant stuffed animals mercilessly watching my every move. It's a childhood dream come true. Excuse me. Just deliver the bears. Excuse me. Just deliver the bears. The arm from the one-armed bandit. A harmless cap gun. Sybil's coffee cup. These need to be delivered to the sale table at the front of Bosco's store. Don't look now, but I think the Toy Mafia are watching us. Maybe he's a giant Ewok, starting the line for the next Star Wars movie. Bosco's isn't a movie theater. No, but if he waits long enough, it might be. Does this hat make my head look fat? Not at all! I think it's all the fat on your head that's making your head look fat. I forget how to get to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland in Casino. Let's take the car. Good idea. Let's mosey. Is that legal now? Whee! Bonjour. Hey, Bosco. See you later, Monsieur Sissy Pants. A reservoir, les enfants. Ah, the cap gun, symbol of French military might. Halt! Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Oh, you are right. 
It is a toy mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me, oh no! The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. What if his toy mafia disguise is just a disguise? I, I gotta see what he's reading. Hey, Bosco. Sissy pants! What is it? Look outside. It's the toy mafia. What? Where? <gasps> you are right. It is a toy mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me, oh no! The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <gasps> what if his toy mafia disguise is just a disguise? I, I gotta see what he's reading. Hmm. If he's pretending to read local news, he's CIA. If he's pretending to read international, he's CIA. Quick, Sam, while he's distracted. Right, I'll just drink Coleco's ghost. I'll get it. Thanks, little buddy. Hmm, comics. He may be Illuminati. When Bosco gets distracted, he really gets distracted. Oops. I'll get it. Can't tell what he's pretending to read now. Thanks, little buddy. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Yeah! Eat pavement, camera! Hmm. The society pages must be skull and bones. Uh, we don't actually want to kill Sybil. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? That camera seems to be bulletproof. If only there were some way to get rid of arbitrary items here in the store. Bosco's built one, of course. Irony is a sledgehammer, isn't it? Shall we shop? Let's do! How much more inconvenient can this place get? It's still easier than flying commercially, isn't it? Good point. Shall we shop? Let's do! He's pretending to read the gardening section, so it's true, he is Toy Mafia! I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! He's coming in! We're done for, y'all! I surrender! I surrender! Ah! I told you this would happen! I told you he would deliver, and he delivered! I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You done nothing but loiter around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the toy mafia. Oh, no! Not again! Fools! There is no one! Stop doing that! Some things just never get old. And this is one of them. See you later, Monsieur Sissy Pants. Au reservoir, les enfants! Here, Bosco. We'll take these things off your hands for you. Don't you try to take something out of my store! But you just said... Don't you do it! They're evidence! 
Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz Pop do what? Ah! My camera! Oh, no, no, no! What do you think you're doing? Looks like he missed her. Oh my goodness! Thank you! I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me! Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally? Hey Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam! Are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah! You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ow! Really? She should consider Guilt Slinger as her next profession. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? We got your password right here. The password is not an object. It's a word, dunce. Presto, a nun-armed bandit no longer. You're on fire! 
Success! Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no! Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Need? My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk to this stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that ghetto. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. Well, we know the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Prime Mart. Only modern technology can horribly, horribly arrive. Himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all! Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, Do not enter under pain of death. I've already seen what's behind door number one. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting! But it probably doesn't mean anything. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. Whee! What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. 
A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. What do you think we should do? That back door looks rather inviting. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed! More fool you, then! For this hypno-bear will make you my willing slave! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno-Bear! Whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel... sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? It seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master? Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend! I can't really shoot him, can I? I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend! I think it's not working. Better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend! I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy! Is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death! Where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain! The pain! And only two days to retirement! You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me! Promise me! Okay, so... For cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave. You run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, Master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. I know I've got a protective device in my head, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? 
I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. I wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear and, while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Stay put. I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! Tempting sometimes, but I've become fond of the little guy. Okay, you can stop shooting him now. Just making sure. Okay, here's what he said. Oh, that Garfield and his lasagna! What a character! Thank you, sir. Master... What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. Don't even try it. Yes, Master. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. Nefarious. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Aw, isn't that cute? Well, that didn't do much. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. This is quite a gizmo. You're on fire! Anybody got a screw loose? Oops. You're on fire. You're on fire. You're on fire. It's the voice box from the one armed bandit. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Hold still, little buddy. Don't do it, Sam. You know I'm ticklish. Oh, okay. You're on fire. I can't use the voice box there. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Max is immune to hypnosis because of his non-standard cassava. Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Worth? Excuse me, Master. What is it? You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. I will give all my money to Teddy Bear. Rats. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Okay, so if I put this Framel what's it in this Flingle Flutter... You're on fire! Aw, oh, isn't that cute? 
You're on fire. Hey, look what I made. You're on fire. Sam, I have to pee. Oops, sorry. Let me see about wrapping things up. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot! Oh, master... What is it now, slave? You're on fire! I'm on... I'm on fire! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help! I'm on fire! Those aren't helping right now. Maybe you can modify them somehow. If you do, make it so it'll sew me a blanket and get me some oysters. I think you overestimate my craftsman skills, little pal. I'll settle for a handkerchief and a half petted snail. I'll settle for stopping the bad guy in his nefarious scheme. Oh, you're so conventional. Stay put. I'll work things out. Try to be quick about it. I'm freezing my ass off on this cold concrete floor. Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help! I'm on fire! Somebody should collect this rubbish. Max almost plugged that thing up for good. And he's not even that big. Here goes nothing. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? <laughs> I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one. Come on. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two... No, three jellied lemurs. With extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Legitimately. 